Hello everyone, today, first, I'm sorry if half of my head is being chopped off because I cannot see anything right now because my little makeshift viewfinder wasn't working out and I just needed to film immediately, so I skipped that step. Anyways, today I'm going to be doing a review and demo on the new Maybelline Dream, wait, let's see if I can get it to balance, the Maybelline Dream Wonder Foundation, it's not going to work. Okay, so we're going to start off with the base. Um, bottle. <laughs> really, really, really leaky. Like, legit, I grabbed the bottle, I put on the lid, and there's, like, a bunch of foundation just all over the bottle, and I don't even know how that happened, because I am a neat person. I did not mess up this bottle at all. I'm sorry if my camera dies, because it's gonna die really, really soon. Anyways, bottle. Weird shape. It's like a little teardrop thing. It's really, really small, and I don't know. I feel like you don't get enough in this bottle because what I learned from the demo is that you need a lot of this to cover a whole face. You can't just do one or two drops on the back of your hand and be completely done with your entire face. I think I had to use like three or four different times of me putting more foundation on the back of my hand just to get it all distributed onto my face completely and it was really really annoying but yeah. Anyways. The bottle is nice and sleek, it's glass, it's got this cute design which kind of draws your eye to it, and it is super duper cheap. This foundation was only $8 when the um, the L'Oreal one, the Magic Nude Liquid like, Powder stuff, it's the exact same thing as this almost, was like 13 and I was like, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, I'm going for this one, so that's what happened. Um, so the product itself is really, really strange. It's not okay it's a liquid foundation but it's literally not like a normal liquid foundation like it's actually water water like it's insane insane like it's just so strange i don't even know what to call it because yeah sure it's a liquid foundation but it's not a normal liquid foundation it's literally water and it's really 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 weird anyways the product has good great coverage especially for the summertime for like when those days where you don't want to be like completely caked up because it's super hot and you feel like you're gonna sweat your makeup off but like it's just like that perfect little thin layer of foundation that also covers a lot I'm wearing it right now because I just filmed the demo so I'm actually wearing it right now with some blush and some concealer fun fact I mixed this just a little bit of this and like a cream concealer under my eyes as an eye concealer and it worked really really well to the crease so hey so I'm really bad at reviews, I'm just giving you the FYI, I'm not going to hold this bottle anymore because it's really, really leaky. Anyways, the product is not, um, because I have really, really dry skin, I think I mentioned that before, I have really, really dry skin, and a lot of foundations like that where they're really, really liquidy or really, really fluid, they kind of like, <clears throat> they ha it makes me have a lot of dry patches, especially right here, like in the middle of my forehead I get a lot of dry patches from a lot of foundations. And looking back into the mirror, I have none of that. It presses into the skin so easily. It melts into the skin. It's just absolutely amazing. And for $8, I feel like you can't go wrong. Um, the color selection isn't that insane. They don't have a lot of colors, but they do have good colors all the way from like super, super dark people to like super, super light people. So I feel like anyone can find their skin color in this foundation. Oh my god. I have a bandeau on problem. I feel like this foundation could be great for someone who's just wanting a light face during the summer or this foundation could literally be like a 10 year old starting with makeup because it's so light so thin so not full coverage but kind of good coverage for if you're just starting out with makeup I would really really recommend this foundation to you if I'm, if I'm looking over there it's because I'm looking at the foundation as I'm talking because it's spilling over because it's so leaky that's my only problem with it is that the bottle is so 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 leaky like did you guys see that? Please tell me I'm not the only one that sees that. Please focus. It's so insanely leaky and every time I open the bottle back up and bring it back down, it gets bigger and it's so annoying. So, that's my only problem with it, but I kind of ramble on in these kind of videos because I have no idea what to say. But I will tell you that the brush that I recommend for this foundation is the Real Techniques X1. 
expert face brush. Um, I absolutely love this brush and I might, because I might be doing a giveaway soon, so maybe I'll throw this brush and a foundation in. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so that's all I really have to say. I hope you enjoy the demo. that little review and demo I kind of scramble in reviews and I'm also scrambling right now because I have to film three videos edit them today and post them on private and like schedule them because I'm leaving town and I won't have internet access for like two weeks and I'm freaking out because my internet is my life so if I'm not having internet access that's like a problem so I have to film three videos today I love you guys so much thank you so much for 400 subscribers I'm probably gonna be doing a giveaway soon as a reward and yeah 